Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where last episode our war was cut off early by the Vor just giving up. And that was very sad. Very sad indeed. We were hoping to require additional Vor people to register to vote. But at this point we have gotten a significant number of them, not half by any means, but a significant number of them to register to vote. And that is fantastic. We do need to upgrade this system capital complex, and we need to figure out what our next moves are. This is currently set up as a trade station. Okay, uh, this could be... Interesting. This could definitely be set up as some sort of an exotic gas acquisition station. At least, we could put in an exotic gas refinery here, but we definitely need a precinct house. That's very clear. We need a precinct house, and then we need, ideally, an exotic gas refinery. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Anything else that we need here right now? This mining world, we just need the ruler unemplo unemployment to be dealt with. Our stability isn't great, mostly because of our pop approval rating. Now that makes sense. That makes sense. The Vor are maybe not particularly happy with us. <laughs> sure. They'll get over it. They will get over it once they feel the joys of representation. That's all they need, clearly. So we definitely should think about connecting Jasmok to our Hyper Relay Grid. We are building a gateway site down here right now. Okay, that's reasonably reasonably fine. We'll bump up our speed to fastest. We do need to work on these anchorages, which of course are already being worked on. And our strategic coordination center will be done in just 200 days. We are working on building a fourth fleet, which will be a pretty big deal. And we're also working on getting all these up to 210. Let's go ahead and reinforce that right now. Okay, fantastic. We're building a bunch of Corvettes, and we should be able to finish this off on the next month tick. We're not going to be exceeding our naval cap until we get our next fleet going, for sure. We will definitely exceed it with our next fleet. What's this? Technology the Kalactora declared war on the Dorbalon. Okay. Armor hit points have finished up here. We're going to grab kinetic weapon damage. And let's finish up our construction of ships here. Beautiful. So that should all be done very shortly here. Excellent. The mega shipyard is now fully online and can produce starships in unprecedented volume. Fantastic. So that's done. That means that we need a mega construction going. We find that we have need at this moment for a construction ship. Uh, yeah, that's the wrong shipyard. There we go. This is the correct shipyard. We're going to produce our construction ship here. And what is the goal of this construction ship? We are going to go construct like an interstellar assembly or something. We're going to leave this one doing what it's doing for the moment. Okay. This mining world requires a job. Well, this is weird. We have a worker unemployment here that isn't being employed in an available job. Why are you unemployed? That's very strange. Maybe on the month tick? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. On the month ticket fixed. Sounds good. So we're going to take this construction ship and we are going to head up over to Maneth. Once we arrive there, we're going to look to build something. We're definitely going to look to build something. Probably an interstellar assembly, I'm thinking. Actually, a sentry array would be really, really good for us. We should build the sentry array instead. So we'll bank up alloys until then. We do need to wait for this ruler to demote. And when will that happen? 
840 days. So that's going to be a while yet. This industrial world requires a job. Easy enough. Our energy credits aren't as positive as I would like to see. So I'm actually going to put in a generator district here. Anything else? No, the rest of that all looks good. Cool. It requires influence to upgrade the orbital rings. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. The final additions to the Strategic Coordination Center are several detached Hostile Force Simulator Bastions. These bastions contain much of the functionality of the strate Strategic Coordination Center on a smaller scale, but are completely independent of the main system. Within, elite commanders and their staff can become totally immersed in the culture and traditions of their enemies, and by studying their artwork, can better understand and simulate their military thinking. Once fully immersed, they will fight virtual wars against the staff of the Strategic Coordination Center, allowing us to, s to stimulate conflicts with any- Stimulate? Really? I think they mean simulate conflicts with any possible enemy in excruciating detail, which can then be relied, or studied, <laughs> rather, from the perspectives of both sides and our str strategies refined upon. But more importantly, we now have a bunch of new naval cap. That's what's most important there. Cool. Our anchorages are progressing, and at this point we need to be banking up our alloys. So we're going to get a little bit more here. We just dipped negative in both consumer goods and energy credits. Now we can definitely back off on our sale of consumer goods, as well as our purchase of exotic gases. We can bring this down to five. Cool. So what will that do to our energy credits? It won't be great, but it should be acceptable. Yeah, minus 71. Okay. That'll be fine for the moment. We can sit at minus 71 and work towards bringing that up. This mining world here, we can put in a generator district, and that will help tremendously. Cool. So that's all good. Now, a big part of that, of course, is our mega structures. Each one of these is costing like 75 per month to upkeep, right? So that's not super shocking. How are we doing on our gateway site down here? 74%? Okay. Getting our hands on this trade will help tremendously. So that will be our current goal. Cool. I do want to go back to war. We should probably look at the Dorbaland here. They're currently fighting with the Kalectora. So that's fairly important to note. There's also only the one way in to their space. Construction complete. They have a hyper relay here. Jazmax Starbase has finished its construction. Uh, that is not any of these over here. Where's the Jazmax Starbase? That's this one. Gotcha. We're working on the Star Fortress upgrade there. Should be fine. And this station here, we could definitely get our planetary defense hangars. And what do we want for buildings? We should actually take a look at what these are. Interesting. Minerals from miners. That's not relevant to us here, I don't think. What do we produce here? And we do produce minerals. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look through some of these. A lot of this is just increasing the specialization, right? And then these are just starbase buildings. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think I'm going to put in stratospheric ionization elements. Cool. So that'll be fine for now. This trade station requires housing. 
Now, it is a trade station, that's for sure. We could definitely put in a trade district, and that will probably end up being profitable for us. So I think for the moment, that's fine. The Billnock can subjugate us, but I, I doubt they actually can, and I doubt they'll re even really attempt. Our gateway is 90% done. Cool. And let's see, we were going to build a gateway in Uza Vortex, as well as one in Saiban, and that was going to finish up all of our trade gathering. So that'll be fine. Cool. We passed Comfort the Fallen. I think we voted for that. We definitely would have if we didn't. And these star bases here are still upgrading. We can get an additional two star bases. Scum and villainy on part of our prime. How rude. We will go ahead and put in our precinct houses here. Cool. We'll also run an anti-crime campaign. Okay, we've arrived over here. So let's get that sentry array constructing. Okay, the gateway is now ready to be built. So let's pop down over to Alfard and let's get this gateway underway. We just need a little bit of energy credits. Okay. That should do the trick for now. There we go. It didn't want to select at first, but we're all good. Okay. Our energy credits are getting substantially worse. We have plenty of available jobs here. Uh, we should not continue that for the moment. This mining world, on the other hand, we do need a job here. A specialist job, though, and it can either demote or migrate. This industrial world, we're definitely going to put in a generator district. There's no doubt about that. We need to offset our increasing energy credit costs. We're also negative in food now, which isn't necessarily great. I'm going to swap this to being an agro world. And we're going to replace these with four agriculture districts. And we're going to put in a food processing facility. There we go. That should help that problem pretty dramatically. We should also put in an anti-crime campaign here. Done. Cool. So we're waiting on this ruler to be demoted. We're waiting on this specialist to demote or migrate. That should all be fine. But getting another aggro world will be good for us. That's for sure. I want to check in on the status of these Starhold upgrades. They'll be done soon enough. And we do have our Titan here. So let's go ahead and duplicate these fleets. So we need one of each of these. Specifically, we need six, 12. We're going for 24 here and then maxing out the Corvettes. So that's going to put us at 875 or over 100 over our naval cap. Obviously, we don't want to do that just yet. We're ready to go on this fleet, but we are not actually prepared, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. We're going to get these star holds done here, and I'm going to start upgrading two additional anchorages over here. So we're going to get this one going, and we're going to get this one going. Cool. So with these additional anchorages coming online, that will give us a good amount of additional food as well as additional naval cap. Because we're going to go for hydroponics bays in each of these. So anchorages and hydroponics bay. We'll upgrade that. And actually, this is in a nebula. So for this one, for right now, we want to do a nebula refinery followed by a star fortress. We're now at plus six exotic gases, so we're going to cancel all of our buy orders. That will save us some energy credits per month. This mining world requires a job. I would love to put in a generator district. That's not currently possible, and we just need that to demote. That's right. This tech world here, we could definitely put in a generator district. We'll do so. This tech world can also get a generator district. There we go. 
that will help. Construction complete. This trade station, it just needs a ruler to motion, so we'll wait on that. Okay. So that's all fine. Let's come on down into our bastions here. The Jasmok station definitely needs a missile battery hangar bay, as well as a target uplink computer, I believe. Yeah, a target uplink computer will be fine. And we'll upgrade that to a citadel. Fantastic. These stations are, of course, Technology preparing. Discovered. And we just got a tech. What tech is that? Energy weapon attack speed. Sure. We're going to go for energy weapon damage next. Fantastic. Okay. So we definitely can't afford to exceed our naval cap right now. That's not currently an option. So we're going to work up our naval cap a little bit. We know we need to be at 875. We're making progress on that front. These anchorages will finish up soon, each one giving us an additional six naval cap. That'll be nice. And our next set of anchorages will be coming online very shortly as well. Complete. In fact, here they come. So we can go ahead and get anchorages and complete. naval logistics offices and upgrade that to a star hold. And then same in Barnard Star. Anchorages and naval logistics office and upgrade to a star hold. Beautiful. So we're now up to 803. We are only going to be like 72 above our cap right now, but we can definitely start reinforcing this if we wanted to. That said, our energy credits are still a major concern at this moment. So we do need to do something about that. Complete. Starbase cap just came up. Uh, we'll grab naval cap next. Since we still will be needing that. Starbase cap and upgrade cost reduction. Not bad there. Starbase upkeep. Minus 20%. That'd be pretty significant. About 100 energy credits per month. So that would be great to grab. We can also grab the Fortress Doctrine. That means we can get ourselves another three Starbases beyond what we have. Do we need three more star bases beyond what we have? Well, each anchorage is going to be netting us 18 naval cap. So we're going to be getting another nine from each of these and then 18 from each of these. Plus 20 from our research. So... 9 plus 9 plus 18 plus 18 plus 20 will be 74. That's basically exactly the amount that we need. Cool. So that's fine. That's pretty much optimal for our naval cap, so we don't need to make additional star bases at this time. Now, we are going to be arriving in Saipan shortly here. And we do definitely want to build a gateway site right about here. So we'll get that started. In the meantime, we will continue to work on our deficit of energy credits. On Trappist here, that's a lot of crime. We're going to put in a city district. That's not going to help the crime, but that will open a building slot. Technology and that will allow discovered. us to help the crime. Okay, kinetic weapon damage finishes up. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to go for... I think we're going to go for planetary build speed. Initiating communications. The Billnock wants a defensive pact. We do not want to spend the influence on that. We're saving up our influence to some degree. I, I know we're spending some of it on gateways. But we're, sa we're saving up our influence to some degree to go back to war with the Vorp. Which will be doable fairly soon. We're, we're going to chip away at them again. That's definitely true. We're working very, very intently right now on working up our fleet strengths. And they are coming up. They're at 75k now. That's a pretty substantial increase. 
So that's great. They're not quite as high as we want them to be. We want them to get up to this like 264k, 300k, somewhere in that regard. We're not quite to that point yet, but we will get there. On this mining world here, we're just waiting for a demotion. Nothing really to be done there. Anything in any of our stations. Terminal Egress is actually 60k. We can get a lot more defense platforms now, but I'm not going to do that at this moment. We need all of, or not all, but we need our alloys to be being set aside right now for our next fleet. That is our current goal there. The Zeltra station will be finishing up its anchorages soon enough, but we're not quite there yet. Ah, Senate is now in session. Minor economic sanctions. We support this. Cool. A scientist died, which means that we have no scientist researching society. Okay, uh, we could go with this cyborg, I suppose. Better than nothing. Cool. Okay, so we need to deal with our energy credits. That's for sure. We're cur currently running capacity mining and farming subsidies, and I feel like all of those are necessary right now. Our trade policy is wealth creation, which is absolutely fine. And we don't really need to militarize our economy right now, I don't think. The Destican Combine insulted us. How rude. Oh, this isn't the Destican Combine. This is the Destican Combine down here. How rude. <laughs> Not like we can really do too much about... Actually... Yeah, we can't declare war on them because of the Vor. The, they are subjects to the Vor. So that's a little bit sad. I was hoping we'd be able to use that to abuse the truce timer, but nope, no such luck. Paradox predicted this. I'm not surprised. This aggro world down over here needs demotions and a housing. Okay, we'll put in a city district. That's fine. We're also going to put in an energy grid. There we go. So that'll be just fine. We are going to get a lot more trade value down here in 400 days. And how goes our construction in Saiban? 39% done. Okay. We're going to make our way up to the Uzab Vortex next, after we're done with that. How goes our production on the Sentry Array? 67% done there. I like it. We're now at 871. That's a lot higher than we expected. Okay. So, at this point, we're fine to get started working on this fleet. So, we'll get started on that, making all six of our battleships simultaneously. Fantastic. Okay, so that's great. We are going to be concerned about our energy credits for the next little while. Now, we could fix that problem. In theory. The question is, do we plan to? We definitely want to put in our precinct houses here. There we go. We have rel a relic activation possible. We're not going to bother with that right now. Cool. Construction complete. Okay, so this starbase has finished its queue. We are not complete. going to do anything else with that. This starbase is not quite finished with its queue. What do we want to put in here? That's a good question. This is a citadel. We kind of don't need anything here. I'd like something that doesn't cost upkeep, but yet makes it disappear off of the list with this component slot available. I'm not sure such a thing exists. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think such a thing exists. I don't want to downgrade it all the way into an outpost. 
I guess we'll just put a listening post in there for sensors. We, we're not going to need it, though. We have the sentry array. We'll go for our crew quarters, but we don't really need that either. So this is a bastion here, allegedly. Where is the blob station? It didn't get fully converted over. Anchorage, Anchorage, and then... Gun batteries, huh? Okay. I must have accidentally set that up incorrectly. There we go. That's now correct. We're going to be over what we need for our navy. That's actually good. That is a very good thing. And we'll continue to work on getting our navy good to go. We need 22,000 alloys to get the fifth fleet. And that'll be fine. It is, at this point, about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue grabbing our trade over here. Working on our energy credit deficit. And hopefully going after the Vor again. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Catherall, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.